Hello there, here's another tutorial for Google Apps Script. This tutorial, we will be actually making the add-on and actually making a sidebar in Google Docs. So that's what we'll be doing today. So let's create a new Google Apps Script. Again, if you don't um, have it, um, you, you're gonna wanna go to Google Apps Script over here, connect your apps to Drive and enable that but I already have it enabled and connected, so all I need to do is create a new Google Apps script. Okay, so now that that's done, we're going to start working on a few things. So we're gonna have to make an opening function for our sidebar. So create a function on install, and I will also make a function on open. Make sure that they have ease. And now on our on open, we need to basically open the sidebar. So we're basically gonna create a menu. And then from there, you can just go ahead, add item, string caption, and we're just gonna add the word start so people can just start the program. So when they click on the add-on, they can just start the program right there. And then we're gonna have that link to show sidebar. And this is basically the function name that is going to show the sidebar. And then we can just add that to UI. Now we need to actually make a function that is going to show our sidebar. Okay, so we're gonna create a variable called UI. And we're gonna use a file name called index. And this is just the name of the file. So the file that we're gonna use to for our like that contains all the HTML, we're gonna create an HTML file. It's gonna be called index. And also if you want your HTML file to be called something different, you can also call it something different. That easy. So now I need to set a title. And the title's gonna be called cool add-on. And that's it. So let's recap what we just did. This basically opens the sidebar, it gets the UI and creates an add-on menu. It adds an item. If you want, you can actually even add more of these and like have like another one and then just have add item like settings or info and have whatever function you want. And then we also created a sidebar with the title and all that stuff. So we can basically save this now, and we can go to our HTML file, and this is our HTML file, this is what will appear in the sidebar. So if you know HTML, which you probably should if you're following this series, you can basically just go and create a normal HTML file. Like, have a heading, and then you can even have buttons, styling, whatever you do in normal HTML, you can do in this. That's done. We have our code, we have our index. Let's give our project a meaningful name. This is not really meaningful at all. Um, make sure all that's goody saved. And instead of going here and selecting a function, we're gonna go to run, test as add-on. And we're gonna test the latest code and all that stuff. And we're gonna select any document. I'm just gonna select this one and then save. And then it'll appear here test and you can go to your add-ons cool add-on you can start to start it up it's gonna need your permission obviously nothing in this document is harmful in any way so everything should be okay make sure you allow that and you got your add-on and that's it. The button does nothing, but yeah, that's how you make a add on the sidebar. In the next tutorial, what we'll actually be doing is we're gonna actually like use these buttons to actually make them interact and change a document. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something.